Where's that one I got in the watchtower? Oh, right in the buttocks, I do see. Not quite what I was aiming for, but uh, I take that. And this is uh, the place I think I decided not to go before. Ah, and it seems the rain has stopped as well. Most wondrous. Give me back my leather helmet, thank you so much. So this is uh, definitely a place I've been before. Why would my feet bring me back here? Ah, where might I find a cure disease? Is the question running through my mind. A chapel, a healer, this is what I require. Perhaps a vendor might have something as well. Solitude, white run, Riften. I think uh, White Run is where I was supposed to go to get the uh, get payment on that staff. Do we remember Mr. Sam Samuel's promise? Is he going to keep it? Only time will tell, I suppose. Hmm. Yes, the overturned cart. The bandits had quite a field day here, I think. Come, butterfly. Come, come, come. <laughs> so fun to chase the butterflies. Ah, simple pleasures, greatest treasures, you understand? Hmm. They should stick on the road, so I might be able to find some signs. Oh, there's a cat just there. No friend of mine. Hmm. I suppose if we should uh, skirt over this way, perhaps he won't notice. Please don't take an interest in Brandar. It's not necessary. Hmm. I think near Rorikstead. Perhaps over that way. Or is it this way? Ah, feet. Come now. I think if Brandar was to think with his uh, head more than his feet, it might serve him well, but mm, it's not as fun, that is for sure. Let us continue on, see what adventures might await us. The journey would be quite, quite a bit easier with Richard by my side, but he seems to have uh, found his way into some adventures of his own. Oh, this is the cow. The sacrifice to the giants. Have you not sacrificed the cow yet? Or is this a different one? I suppose they have a, a set schedule of some sort that they must follow. Quite superstitious these people are. Khajiits have never been one for superstition. We mostly depend on what we can see with our eyes, hear with our ears, you see. Although, through his journeys, Brandar has become a bit more devout. Certainly not enough to call upon the gods for a divine intervention of sorts. Although I think that would uh, be quite handy as well. It also would take quite a bit of time to win the gods' favor, you see. Oh, hello there! What a surprise! Don't run! You started this, you finished this. <laughs> Wild dogs on the road. Probably saved that farmer's life. Unless his cow would trample the dogs. Which seems rather likely as well. Hmm. Ah, if I could drink a, just a little bit of blood from the cow, from the wolves even, might make me feel a little better. No, Brandar, put it out of your mind. I shan't do such things. At your service. Oh, hello there! Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. It is quite. Song is the life for us, eh, friend? 
True enough, my, my fellow bard. Could you teach me a song that the locals might enjoy? Brandar's collection is mostly uh, from elsewhere, but I hear many songs here that I don't quite know. Could you teach me some? You're a generous fellow traveler, but of course, what would you like to hear? Well, do you know the, the Dragonborn Comes one? Or perhaps the Age of Aggression? Yes, I think it is called Age of Aggression. This this one about spilling of the blood, things like this. It's a very nice one. Maybe you see. Only true Imperials request that one. Only true Imperials. Our youth today is come and gone. For the Age of Aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm folks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we'll take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we'll drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Sovereign Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Mm, very nice. Not so much nice as uh, getting a glimpse on the other side of the fence. Mm, but could I have that gold back? Mm, seems not. How about some of these hanging moths? Anything from me. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry it had to be this way, my friend. I shan't kill a fellow bard. I do apologize. Radar knows he was in the wrong there, but... Uh, you can take me? Hey, I do like a freebie, you see? I don't think I can take you. Unless uh, we're going to White Run. If you want me to take you to White Run, I would be more than happy. Still over there yelling. <laughs> Crazy man. Oh. There it is. Just on the horizon. Yes, what was the name of this woman that I was supposed to look up? Isolde, I do believe. Oh, so many butterflies out today. Most fortunate. And I think the bard has forgotten about me by now. Hopefully he does not report me to the city. It would be quite awkward, would it not? <laughs> I've got quite a bit of stolen goods in my bag by this point, I think. It would not be a pretty sight. This would be the first time Brandar was caught for a crime. Please, show some leniency. I don't have a record. I'm not a bad person. Hmm. Yes. Most unfortunate. But sometimes Brandar can't help himself, you know? His fingers get a little sticky, that sort of thing. Ah, well. We shall deal with the consequences, whatever comes. Whatever will be, will be. As it seems, they should have picked something a bit lighter. Something a bit more on the top of his pockets. I don't see Richard there. Ah, where has that boy gone to? In quite a while. And he's, he's taken Miko with him. Which is, I think, the most interesting part, you know? He's been a very bad influence. But a naughty fellow. Naughty, naughty. I shall scold him. But of course, those big brown eyes, how can I say no? Are you feeling sick? He will look at me and he will say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brandar. And I'll say, oh, all is forgiven, my old friend. We've been through so much together. Chops and steaks fit for your am I feeling a bit sick? Yes, I am. I would like to uh, drink a bit of blood. Perhaps mead is all they have. 
Ah, with some luck I might find a cure disease Let me potion. Know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Hmm. What do you need? I need a cure disease Trinkets, potion. Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Well, is if does that count as an odd or an end? Hmm. There, potion of cure disease. How much you want? Two hundred twenty eight. Oof. My goodness. Well, I suppose it is worth it. Uh, perhaps you would like to uh, buy some of Brandar's wares, huh? Maybe I could even out the score a little bit. I hate to just drop 200 gold and be done with it, hmm? Oh, you should like this great sword. This is quite nice, yes? Here you are. I've got a couple of swords for you. Arrows? No, no, I must keep them. Uh, this dagger? Hmm quite nice, but I think I should keep that as well. Couple of orcish swords, steel sword, oh yes. Quite a killing you will make on these things, most assuredly. Ah, the black mage robes, yes? Wonderful. Hmm, this armor, nice and heavy. Ah, you can carry this instead of Brandar, huh? <laughs> I've had quite enough of lugging this thing around Skyrim, let me tell you that much. Haven't even gone that far with it. Ah, these necklaces. Yes, I think you should quite like. Mmm. Brandar's not one for uh, conjuration spells, no indeed. Silver rings, you have these. Uh, heavy armor, no no, I don't like this. Vampire armor. Well, quite a difficult choice it is. But I suppose I shall bid the vampire armor goodbye. Yes, I shall miss it, indeed. But it is what we must do, huh? Frostbite venom. Yes, I'm not sure I want to part with this quite yet. So many potions I have, my goodness. How about this, Fortify Conjuration? You take that? Excellent. Hmm. Resist fire, maybe I give you a little more than half of that. Resist frost, oh my goodness. You can't even afford to buy all of these that I have, huh? <laughs> I sell you as many as you can buy. Suppose that is it for now. Until Thank you. Next time. Indeed. Now I shall uh, find this potion. Quaff it quite heartily, hmm? Potions, potions. Cure disease, yes. Use this one. Ah. I suppose we'll have to wait just a bit to see if it worked, huh? What do you need? Perhaps it did. What do I need? I need to know where is Mrs. Old. Ah. But I gather that she is not here. Because people are never where Brandar needs I them to be. You see? Hmm? It does seem that uh, the guards don't know of my little pickpocketing exploit, so... Thank goodness for that. I'm sure I could also talk to the Thieves Guild and have them uh, clear my name. We've got quite a few contacts from what I hear, but... Becoming an official thief? Hmm, I don't think this is uh, for Brandar. Hello, Kitten. Oh! Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Owe you? Do we know each Once other? Once I made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. And what do you know of the Khajiit, Kitten? About the same as everyone else. They're the catfolk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. <laughs> it's quite lovely, but... You may talk you may talk about my homeland as long as you continue to call me a great warrior. I do appreciate that. So, um what exactly do I owe you? 
I, I'm a bit confused by your statement there. We've met before, yes? It's not about the money, really. I wouldn't have given you the wedding ring on credit if you weren't so obviously in love. But if there isn't going to be a wedding, the least you can do is give the ring back. That was one of my best pieces. Um... A wedding? Brenlard, unfortunately, does not quite recall. Who did I fall in love with exactly? And, um... Perhaps you know what I did with the ring, because I... I had a few drinks that night, I'm going to be completely honest, and I'm just trying to undo the the naughty things that I have done. Do you do you know where this ring has gone? Perhaps I can go win it back for you. You went right out to give it to your fiance. Don't you even remember where you left her? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. Interesting. Which Miss Grove, you say? Could you tell me the story? What did I say about my fiancé exactly? How could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. <laughs> we met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in Witch Mist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. It probably was straight out of a storybook. Brandar has a bit more of a silver tongue than is necessary sometime. Ah... <sighs> Could could I please get to the wedding, please? I should I should give this ring back to you uh, at some point, yes. But first, just let me put it on her finger. Maybe while she sleeps, I slip it off, give it back to you. All is well, yes. Would that work for you? I'm sure your bride to be will tell you when and where the ceremony will be. If she still wants to marry you when you tell her you can't afford the ring. My goodness. I suppose I could just pay you for the ring, yes? My coin purse is quite heavy. Been doing some uh, spelunking, you see, I found some treasures. Here, have this. Have this, and I think all will be well, yes? You decided to go through with it then. I knew you couldn't have forgotten about your fiance. You spoke of her so glowingly. I don't know much about Morven Scar, but it sounded like a lovely place for the ceremony. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. So, uh, Morvenskar. Oh my. Should I show up or not is the question. Get married in order to, to get a staff? I... Mm. My fiance is probably getting married just to get a staff too, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you don't look amused. So, tell me about the uh, plans you have to become a merchant, huh? Now that all is well between us? Before my ma and dad passed. I told him that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Oh, pardon me, mister. A mammoth's tusk, huh? Well, good luck with that. I'll do my best. Alright, see you later. Morvenskund. Oh, well. I've never heard of such a place. Oh, that man, still preaching. Last time we were in Skyrim, he's exact same spot. You don't know me. Oh, maybe he wants to talk to me about my fine. Not going to happen. Sorry, very busy. I must be on my way. You understand. Places to see, people to do. <laughs> ah... Well, let us see if we can find Richard, huh? I think perhaps at the stables, something like this. Oh! Ah. He must be around here somewhere. Does no one know where this Morven Spoon might be? Hmm. Perhaps uh, I could ask these fellows in here. Have they seen a horse and a dog? Hello there. Time to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Yes, good deed. Might maybe you can do a good deed as well. Have you seen a horse and a dog running around here somewhere? Perhaps together. Hmm. Around the back, she says. Well, why wouldn't he be out here with the others? 
eating the food. Usually, ah, my boy. Hello to you. Huh. You've been hiding from daddy, have you? Can you tell me where where has Mr. Miko gone? Hmm? I thought you went off together. Oh, most troubling. Most troubling indeed. Hold on a second, Richard. Let me ask this uh, caravan fellow where we might find the, the Morven Scar. Hello there. Right. Perhaps so. Um, could you tell me where I might find a place called Morven Scar? I. I apparently have a wedding to get to there, but I don't quite remember uh, how to how to get there. And I can't ask my wife because I don't know who she is. Very strange story, I know. But please, Morvenskar, do you know? Morvenskar? Hmm. I think that's near Windhelm. Would you like a ride over there? Yes, that sounds wonderful. I'd like to hire your go? carriage. Let us head over to Windhelm. Uh, I think Mr. Mr. Richard will follow us. Climb on back, yes sir. Okay, follow the nice man, Richard. Don't get lost again. Uh, is he dependable? Let us see. Well, good boy, Richard. Follow the nice carriage man. And I do thank you for the directions, sir. Don't know why I didn't think of that a bit earlier, huh? Quite, uh... Nonsensical of me. What was that place? Corvanjun, yes. <laughs> I bet the storm clock still wait for me there. <laughs> Fools! Fools all of them. Of course, Brandar uh, had a bit of foolery of his own, did he not? I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. The United Empire. Oh, the Legion. Sounds official. Brandar shan't interrupt you. They've also got an official ceremony to go to, apparently. Hmm. Well, this is the Morven Scar. Please wait here, Richard. Yes, or there. Wherever you would like, just, just go ahead and wait. See me burn? You won't see me at all. <laughs> Fools. I think more witches, more mages. Oh, don't scare daddy like that. I felt eyes upon me. Oh, it was just my good friend. Daddy's going over here now. Was I supposed to head inside? Ah, I can't remember for the life of me. This is what happens. Have a little drink. Need to fix all the naughties. What was that? I want to stay here. Ah, I could get out. Hello? You don't see me. You don't see Brandar. Oh my. Like ants they are. Swarming about. Hmm. Oh my. You'll make a fine rock. Well he sees me. You like fire, do you? I teach you a bit about fire, huh? <laughs> Ah, it's a good thing I kept some of those potions around, I think. Let's see, resist fire. And couldn't hurt to resist frost as well. There we are. Ah. You can't handle Brandar. Two foot slashes, down you go. Ha! Ha! Ah. A bit easier than sneaking around, I do suppose. Hmm. And of course, the lovely robes that they have all be sell for quite pretty penny. Yes. There's one more out here somewhere. Hello there. Greetings to you. Ha! Ah! 
your spectral wolf gone so quickly. You just need to focus on the caster. All will be well. Where's that one I got in the watchtower? Oh, right in the buttocks, I do see. Not quite what I was aiming for, but uh, I take that. I take that for now. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.